Cynthia Nyakuchira and I'm an associate advocate at the firm of Mosimi and Company Advocates. I work in uh, convincing and property law department and also the commercial law department. There's different phases one needs to consider while considering to buy land in Kenya. So there's the pre-contractual stage, the contractual stage and the post-contractual stage. At the pre-contractual stage, um, stage rather, it's where you are identifying the land that you want to buy. So have you identified the land you want to buy? Have you identified an apartment you want to acquire? Have you been there physically to see it? And if it is land in terms of um, physical bare land, does it have beacons? Are there any, um, any pre-existing owners in terms of are there any current tenants or squatters on the property? So you need to pay a physical visit to the land. Um, once you've paid a physical visit to the land, then you need to engage with the person who is selling the land, who is called the vendor, um, to provide you with a certificate of title, a copy of the title deed for the property so that you can undertake a search at the Ministry of Lands. The purpose of the search is to uh, provide you with um, the actual details uh, pertaining to the land. In other words, um, who is the registered owner? Uh, what is the acreage of the land? Um, where is the land situated? Are there any encumbrances? Encumbrances being um, any third party rights against the land, say, um, has the land been charged to a financial institution? Is there a caution or a caveat that has been registered against the land? Are there any easements suggested against the land? Easements are rights of passage, rights of way. So once you have concluded um, identifying that at the pre-contractual stage, then you enter into a contractual stage. At the contractual stage, this is where you as a purchaser, um, together with the buyer, sit down and enter into a land buying contract, which we call an agreement for sale. Now this agreement for sale will enumerate different terms with respect to um, how you're going to acquire the property, the purchase price, what is the value of the property, what are the payment terms, what documents do you need to have this property finally transferred to you, and um, what are your rights and obligations as both the purchaser, who is um, being the person who's buying the land, and the seller, being the person who is selling the land, what are the provisions in the event that you are terminating the contract? That means if you choose not to uh, proceed with a sale, what are your remedies as a seller and what are your remedies as a buyer? We've looked at the, con the pre-contractual stage where we've talked of searches and identifying the property. We've gone to the contractual stage. We've talked of an agreement for sale. The final stage is now where we are executing. We are transferring the property into your names as the... It's called a completion stage. We are transferring the property into your names as the buyer or the purchaser, and the seller is in turn getting the purchase price, uh, which is the value for the property.